Prince Harry and Meghan Markle net $500 million for interview. The world is still a buzz after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's interview with Oprah Winfrey. One tabloid claims that the couple made $500 million for the interview, throwing Queen under bus to nab fancy future deals. According to the National Enquirer, greedy Prince Harry and his diva wife, Meghan, had a whopping $500 million motive to betray Queen Elizabeth. Insiders say that the conniving couple retaliated by secretly negotiating backroom Hollywood mega deals and going public on TV. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex want revenge on the monarchy, and selling out Harry's family is the way to get it, and cash in big time. A source says, Meghan's convinced they'll have deals totaling $500 million by the end of the year, but they better act fast as Netflix bosses are upset with the Sussexes for double dealing with their interview on CBS. Showbiz experts want the fame-obsessed couple faces a bitter backlash over the interview, the magazine declares. The couple only landed those deals because of their titles, not talent, and there's a lot of jealousy over the huge money they're raking in. An insider says that betraying Queen Elizabeth on TV could blow up in their faces. The article concludes by saying, this is looking like an embarrassing, and expensive, disaster for Harry and Meghan. Too vague to believe. This story is a bit of a bait and switch. The headline says Harry and Meghan's $500 million royal gambles, but it's unclear where that number is coming from. The story never says that they're earning anything for the interview itself, but instead says that the two will nab future deals from this interview. What deals are those? Your guess is as good as ours as the tabloid never gets more specific than saying they are fame-obsessed. Considering the fact that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle don't even have a social media presence, we finds that pretty hard to believe. Now that the interview has aired, it's obvious that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had legitimate gripes with the firm that extend far beyond royal dish. In the first sentence alone, the Enquirer calls Markle a diva and Prince Harry greedy. The tabloid's intentions are therefore obvious. This is just another hit piece directed at the couple. They face incredible scrutiny just for breathing, so life and style isn't surprised. Since the tabloid never bothers to explain what deals are actually being made, we're going to debunk this story as another tired attack on the two. Rough royal reputation. This tabloid prints stories about the Sussexes and their finances constantly. Just a few months ago, they were supposed to be broke and begging the royal family for money, but now, Apparently they're millionaires. We busted his story about Meghan Markle demanding $90 million under threat of doing a TV tell-all. It looks like the tabloid just flipped that story and now claims that Markle will get even more money elsewhere. This tabloid regularly attacks Markle, and at different times, it called her a monster and a birthday-ruining diva. The Enquirer has made it clear that it hates Meghan Markle, so it's impossible to take this story seriously.